Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, the best in the business right now. We are going to be going through the next support and resistance level that I am trading right now on the Bitcoin chart. I will also be giving you an update on the harmonic pattern that we were obviously looking at in the Twitch live stream. We came down to that Fibonacci ribbon and we have seen a bounce. So where will this bounce go? Let's go through the levels, let's go through the charts and what can I say? What a week and opportunity that we have right now in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin, really, really, really nice range. I'm honestly excited to trade this one, as well as the altcoins showing some signs of life today. You know, we're seeing between like 5 and 10% bounces across many altcoins, some even more. Nice opportunity on them. Obviously, we're focusing on Bitcoin in this video. That's where my love of the life is right now. Love trading Bitcoin. Love giving you the analysis. And let's begin. So Bitcoin, obviously, we were looking at in that Twitch live stream. If you missed the Twitch live stream, go or give us a follow on Twitch where we're obviously going through this harmonic pattern, obviously being the Gartley harmonic, uh, where we were looking obviously at the overall that support between for the D here we're on about now the between 32 obviously had to be $32,000 and $31,000 this was our region where again I was stressing very hard and this was a free public stream remember this is a only long you do not not look for any shorts down there that is trading suicide well, I hope I managed to help out some people at least because obviously from that, hey, let's have the harmonic back on. What a bounce we saw right off the low of that fib level that we were given. Bam, massive move to the upside. This actually includes a 17% bounce. It's crazy. It really is crazy when you think about it. And I see many people waking up today with really similar entries across the board. I like this guy's comment. First trade after finishing six years of college. He's going to give it his all this summer. Also with an entry around $31,000. Beautiful to see people getting an ETH around $1,800, which is obviously weekly level of support. Many entries around $31,000. More Ethereum entries. I know Eagle went big on Ethereum yesterday, so he's obviously killed it. And uh, yeah, this is what we're waking up to this morning back at around $36,000. Crypto Monster almost doubled his portfolio today. Leverage level there. But anyway, we're going back to the charts here. Exactly as predicted, we saw the rise of C come down for D. And well, there we go. We saw the rise of C back down for D. As you will know, if you've been paying attention, we had $35,000 uh, this would have been back on Friday as a major support level. We obviously got the swing failure pattern through $35,000 and we got the retest of it. From the retest, we obviously saw the lovely rise to give us our top of C. And in the end, we lost $35,000 to come back down to test the 32K support region for another bounce to the upside. We are back now through $35,000. So one has to say on an intraday level, $35,000 is an intraday support. And our level above us, well, I've actually got a few levels that I'm kind of interested in. Of course, we can always look at this being the CC pool currently, which gives us a resistance at around $38,000. Okay, that's obviously a bit of a region here, but we have around $38,000 as, uh, you know, in what we can we say like an intraday resistance. And then we have intraday support, basically $35,000. Um, personally, I will show you this. I personally have hit already the take profit one on this long position. Uh, so this was obviously the long from the low of the Gartley. Hit take profit one on that one last night. I've actually longed this on a few different accounts. So long across the board. But yeah, hit my take profit one last night. It was actually at $35,000. We saw a bit of a retracement coming into around 5am. And then obviously the rally continuing here. So I think that we can now just be really aware of the next levels well, really to trade from, no? So <laughs> next level above us, 30, 30, about $38,000 being the CC. I've obviously got this area of consolidation, which is going to be coming back in as resistance again if we come back into this. Obviously, this is, you know, the high the high itself of C there coming in basically around $39,000. As we all know, if we look at this as a sideways range, we still have this $43,000 as resistance. Um so obviously, if we break through, we got a few levels but prior, but you know, big, 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 big resistance still has to be remembered at 43. If we manage to get up that high, intraday we're looking around 38, being a CC or the top of this move around 39,500. I think you could we can play this fairly um, 
you know, I don't think there's any need to be like aggressive on the moves. I'm personally not going to be that aggressive. I think, well, if you followed along with anything that I was saying, then I think you're going to be in a fairly relaxed position right now. Uh, but ultimately, I will share with you this post inside the group, obviously, where we were going for the take profit off the Gartley, but also pump it to get them bullish and then dump it again. So I think today everybody is going to be flipping back bullish. So obviously we can expect a bit more of a rally, but just remember, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's 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 all over. But um, yeah, just be slightly cautious, I suppose. But for now, you know, I think we can definitely all agree that we can, uh, you know, foresee an, another rise to the upside. Obviously, I, it's pretty obvious, you know, we're coming into these sort of, it's kind of just being like the same process. We come into these support resistance levels. So now we're coming into this old support level around 37k. It's obviously hovering around now for a few hours and, you know, finding a bit of resistance. I mean, <laughs> there's naturally, again, just, just like I was literally saying, you do not want to short down here because this is just like the worst idea. This is the this is where you look for longs. Like this is also a, not a place where you would look to long. Let's be honest, because you're now coming back into your first resistance level. It's just like the only people shorting down here are like really bad traders, and the only people that are longing up here are again really bad traders that have like missed the boat. So I think as long as you're being sensible, as long as you've followed along with anything we've been saying, like you know not to long here, okay? There's the possibility that we get another pullback, okay? So if we do get the pullback, we know intraday 35,000, okay? $32,000 obviously still support below us. And, you know, we've got our first SR flip here. This is our first support resistance level, okay? From, from back up at the high of C. So this is obviously our consolidation that led to the breakdown. So that's obviously giving us the high of the C of the harmonic. So this is an important support resistance level, in my opinion. Uh, it's obviously 37, but ultimately, we're looking back up towards, you know, just above 38 for the big CC there to the high of C's, you know, high C of the harmonic, which obviously was put in a few days ago off that prediction and put down to the low of D. So that's this obviously, yeah, I think this is not so, you know, you know, I don't think it's so difficult to trade right now. Personally, I think you're offered the best trade if we can push up a little bit more. OK, you get a bit more people like flipping ultra bullish. Again, it doesn't mean this, you know, I think we can just literally trade it level to level. Now, I think I've given you really 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 nice plans um you know especially if you're especially if you're in the group you know exactly what we're doing here so it's like you now just have to have the patience to like i was saying yesterday you have the patience to not trade at these random type of levels and wait for the areas of confluence yeah you just want to wait for those areas of confluence okay um yeah very nice bouncing yeah, these bounces were pretty insane i was obviously and we had to start just getting the bounce underway. And obviously, just as we were hitting it, you know, we were aware, ready, waiting for these levels. So when the levels come, you know, this is when you trade. You know, you just got to you got, you got to be prepared, ready. And, you know, from from the first touch of the low of that Fibonacci, which gave us our harmonic. Yeah, you got to you know, this is the levels where you look to trade. You know, I would, personally wouldn't be so interested in trading here a long or a short, really. You know, it's not for me a brilliant area so i'd either prefer to see a push up to more more to the upside yeah i'd prefer to see a push further up or a push further down um, you know i'm not really that, that interested in where we are right now uh again uh, that long for me hit take profit one so this one's already hit a take profit on my main account I'm still running this one now which i'm uh you know got back into again yesterday this again this trade has already hit take profit one uh, currently got running left on this trade about uh, 350,000 and I'm just gonna you know wait to see how this little area of consolidation now plays out okay do we push up again further or do we reject from here if we start to reject obviously hit take profit one on this account as well so naturally got that stop loss back into the entry um, you know so I think we can just trade this in a really relaxed fashion there's no need to be uh, like screaming or scared or anything of the such you know I think we're absolutely you know I don't know the right word for that I just think we're absolutely you know extremely fortunate to be able to trade in such an environment where we are seeing crazy moves I mean this is again this is what this this trade was taken what about 14 hours ago so not even one day you know and this account alone's made over another bitcoin profit so it's just like Bitcoin a day keeps the doctor away. Now, if we keep doing one Bitcoin a day, happy days. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we love the environment that we're trading in. Um, there's, you know, the only way that you're able to execute like I'm executing right now is by following the plans, following the levels, not trading at random levels. And, you know, I really, truly believe that, um, 
you know, do not get ultra bearish at support and do not get ultra bullish at resistance, you know? So it's just like flip the emotions on their head, trade the charts. And, um, you know, I, I truly believe I can, I can help you out here. Uh, obviously some, this was from the champions live stream last night, obviously had to wear that $32,000 blazer. We had some brilliant comments from the people who were watching this. This guy says, uh, worked on wall street for years and, uh, Definitely, uh, definitely likes the service that we're giving. Another, another guy absolutely loving the stream today, giving a lot of clarity for the next couple of weeks. So if you want that, you know, higher term time frame, longer term view on Bitcoin, my exact plans that I am executing, then of course that's in the Champions live stream. Um, well, here on the public free video, we've just gone through the update of the harmonic. That's exactly the same one that I was going through yesterday on Twitch. And the next levels that I'm personally looking to trade here locally. Again, am I extremely bullish today? No, not really. Am I extremely bearish today? No, not really. I'm very neutral trading the charts. You know, give me a move up. We go up, <laughs> give me a move down and we'll trade it to the downside. Like I was literally saying yesterday, at the end of the day, we can make money trading Bitcoin up, we can make money trading Bitcoin down, and we can make money trading Bitcoin absolutely sideways. Yeah, the thing, the way that we do this is again by having a plan, not getting greedy, not getting scared, and literally just trading the technical analysis. It's very well respected, I have to admit. And I think that is about it. Ah, oh, yeah, I was going to end with this, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to see my champions game theory, which is going through the market makers, how we really look at this market and giving you a little bit of secrets. Um, smash the likes, smash the likes, get this to, I don't know, I don't want to give it away too easily, maybe 1,500 likes, quite a challenge, it might take a few days, uh, but when it hits 1,500, I'll release the video, I've already got it pre-recorded, so it's uh, ready and waiting if you want to see it, uh, 1,500 likes, I'll release this, and I think it is truly um, an eye-opener, let's just say that, of you know how these markets move, uh, so if you're interested in that, smash the likes, Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to miss the next stream where I'm going through my levels, then uh, obviously we're doing some of those over on Twitch. And if you want to know my exact plans, obviously in a lot more depth than we go through here, really, of course, because it's a, you know, over an hour long stream, then obviously we do that over at chartchampions.com for the champions. Went through my plan last night and exactly how we are trading this. So I'm going to wrap this up here, ladies and gentlemen. I've talked you through the next levels of support and resistance the levels to be aware of here on the day trades and i hope you thoroughly enjoy the day i most certainly am going to to be honest with you so with that said respect the technical analysis and once again once again <laughs> this harmonic went exactly as predicted thank you ever so much have a brilliant day and i'll catch you in the next one Bye. Oh no, before I go, of course, the legal disclaimer. Wow, we nearly forgot that one then, didn't we? Legal disclaimer obviously applies to everything I've talked about in this video. Educational, entertainment video only, no financial advice, not telling you what to do. Do your own research, read this and understand. And um, yeah, I hope you had an entertaining video. Thank you ever so much. And I'm going to go back to the charts. Cheers.